Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Tahini from South Bay, California and I welcome you today. So this week I wanted to create videos for enthusiasts who are trying to get into the machine learning and deep learning uh, you know, realms. So what I understand is generally the, the, the limiting factor that we all you know, the, in, have in our heads is how do I even get into, into coding or how do I get into programming? So this week, I wanted to make two videos. Today's video, I wanted to show you the specs of my latest computer. It's an Ubuntu or Linux computer that I have purchased. And I will show you the specs and I'll you know, show you how to you know, set up. It's just an unboxing video so that you, you get to know how to set up a, a good, strong Linux computer that you can then use to program your deep learning algorithms. And the second video that I will create is more for learners who, who are getting into this community for the first time and who don't really want to you know, buy a, a PC yet. So for them, what I wanted to get into is there are so many different kind of web-based, uh, browser-based Python launching software. So what it does is, uh, you know, uh, Google has its, its own version, Binder has its own version, Kaggle has its own version. I will be showing you a variety of them. So if you use them, you don't have to have any software in, you know, installed in your computer. You just need a way to launch a web browser and you should be able to start coding in Python. How amazing, right? So I wanted to do both of these videos this week, so stay tuned. If this is of interest to you, please hit uh, a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Okay, so this is the, the computer that I was talking about. It is the System76 uh, you know, PC. And again, it's a very strong, it's, it's one of the top rated for Ubuntu systems, and I will share the specs of this in, in a minute. But yeah, I've, you know, I have the box right here. I've not opened it before. And this is the first time that I'm doing an unboxing video. So please bear with me. Okay, so all I have done so far is I have ripped off the, the cello tape. Okay. And voila. So I'm not sure if you can see, but at the bottom it says, wait, don't cut it. Uh, the packaging is reusable and I'm supposed to unfold it and slide it out. So I think it's a neat box. Okay, apart from this, this is the adapter and the, and the charging point. And hey, we have launch and learning. So these are System76 badges. Can you see them? <laughs> I'm sure this is great for kids. So this is typically a gaming computer um, that kids, you know, used to game a lot. Well, I'll be building deep learning models, not too far a stretch, right? Uh, and of course I have a cleaning, uh, you know, pad with it as well. So, and what I really like at the bottom of the box, it says, what will you make? I will make epic algorithms that are gonna be super efficient and highly accurate. That is my, um, that is what I'm vouching for when I'm unboxing this. So let's get a little more in depth into the PC. So I am now taking the computer out and it's a good resealable bag so that, and the laptop is underneath system 76. Um, first uh, impressions, it's pretty light. Uh, I've been using a, a Dell um, 7520. It's a mobile workstation before that as an Ubuntu system and those were huge. Um, you know, they, they were like as big as rocks and as heavy as rocks. They were not portable at all. So first impressions, it's, it's pretty uh, sleek. I still have the, the plastic on the top so that who knows if I have to return it for some reason, but fingers crossed. Okay, I wanted to focus on um, you know, the, the welcome screen and, and everything else. So that's why I'm highlighting this area. So let's hit next. Um, I have English, US, I have Wi-Fi. Okay, so all I did was I entered my password for my uh, Wi-Fi and allow applications to determine your geographical area. I don't want that time zone, I'm in Pacific time zone, connect your online accounts, I want to. Okay, so I set my password 
and it says I'm done. So I'm supposed to start using my Ubuntu. <coughs> And that's it. All right, so now I've been using my System76 uh, Linux Ubuntu 20.04 for about a week now, and I'm using it for Python programming, and I'm actually loving it. So I just wanted to give a, a, an update as to what I am, you know, using it for. So the first thing I downloaded was Anaconda. So I go to Anaconda Products Individual, and here um, I actually go ahead and, and, you know, download. So here you see this is the for, for Linux. I installed the 64-bit install and that way I, I have Anaconda on my computer. The other thing that I did was, of course, uh, my, uh, my computer came with 8 GB. Um, it's, it's NVIDIA graphics, uh, you know, card. So in order to check that, you need to do NVIDIA dash SMI, and I'll be writing these commands down uh, in the description box below. So you see it says it's CUDA version 10.2. And so that's why I, I know that, you know, CUDA files are already uh, in this uh, computer. I still had to do a sudo apt update and update the CUDA toolkit uh, so that, you know, I have everything up to date. And then I also do the NVCC dash dash version. And this gives me the exact version. So this is actually CUDA 10.1.243. So this is the exact version. Of, of CUDA that is, uh, you know, on my computer. And CUDA is what is, is used to drive your GPUs. Now, after I have the CUDA configured, I need to download CUDN. So I say CUDNN and I, I go to CUDNN and down, download. So now this will take you to NVIDIA's, uh, you know, website. You see, you go ahead and you say you, you want to download CUDNN and you'll need to create your, you know, login ID. So I'm already logged in and that's why it didn't ask me to create a, a login. Otherwise, you'll have to, you know, log in here. Um, one thing I did want to mention is, so these are all the CUDNN, you know, uh, updates or the releases. Now for uh, our version, because because ours is CUDA 10.1, you will need the CODNN, which is, uh, you know, uh, compatible with, uh, with with that particular. So it's for corresponding to 10.1 because that's the version that we have. So, however, I checked because what, what I wanted to, you know, utilize this is for TensorFlow and TensorFlow 2.0. So the CODNN version 8 is actually, it, it's not compatible with, with TensorFlow. So that's why I had to uh, instead use this particular, uh, you know, no, the download. So um, if you want, you can note it down. It's for November 5th, 2019 for CUDA 10.1. And this is the download version is 7.6.5. So for your uh, CUDA 10.1, the, comp the compatible CUDNN uh, software uh, is 7.6.5. And this will give you the drivers that you require. And, you know, then in order to create, uh, you know, your virtual partitions or virtual environments. And then in the virtual environments, you can actually um, go in and, and, you know, use your uh, driver. So in this case, I have a virtual environment called TensorFlow. So what I will do is I'll write conda activate TensorFlow. And I'm inside TensorFlow, and now I will invoke Python, and I will say import TensorFlow as TF, um, and it has imported it. And now I will test if the CUDA is, is actually helping, you know, the if the GPU is working or not. So I will do TF dot test test dot is GPU available and you see uh, it followed everything and it says you know successfully started everything so if there are any errors if there is uh, you know any problem in the system it, it'll keep saying that you know some this error this file not found but it found everything and it's it's successfully be able to utilize your uh, gpu so um, now i have uh, you know tensorflow gpu version uh, it's 2.2.1 um, that that i'm running uh, on my python um, so this is how I am going to be using it. And I'm super excited to be showing you updates in the coming weeks about what I'm able to achieve. So goodbye for now.